Hey guys, Colorado Camper Man Brian here. So in this video, I'm gonna give you four cons of owning a truck topper. Now, I did do the inverse of this already, so check that video out. I did a video on the six pros, because I actually do think there are more pros and cons of owning a truck topper. But I always wanna make sure I showed two sides of the story. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first con of owning a truck topper is anytime you want to use your truck bed for something that does not fit in the truck topper, you have to take the truck topper off. So what do I mean when I say this? Uh, I have an ATV. I also own a painting business and a handyman business and uh, uh, sometimes you just have stuff that does not fit in the truck bed when the topper's on. And yes, you can open up that back window and have stuff shoot out the back, but um, not all the time, for sure. Uh, say if you need to get some rock or dirt or whatever, um, I know several times when I needed to do that, we gotta take the truck topper off. And truck toppers are not exactly light. I mean, they make them as light as they can. Um, but usually, you know, we'd have to get two, three guys um, to, to take the thing off. Um, and besides that, then you have to find a place to store the topper. And we would have this in our backyard up off the ground. Um, so when you, when you don't have the truck topper on your truck, you do have to find somewhere to store this, uh, which is uh, actually, I guess, another con, really. So I guess there's two. The second con of owning a truck topper is gear accessibility. Now, it is great that your gear is covered and protected and everything like that. But if you have uh, gear at the very front of the truck, and you have a topper like ours where the side windows don't open, you have to crawl inside the topper in order to get all that stuff. Um, even when you get those side windows, you know, if the window's about that big and you have a full size truck, you have to kind of like lean in there and lean over and you're only trying to go through a little tiny window and um, it's not like when you have your truck bed completely open, for sure. Uh, it's a lot more difficult to get things in and out of there. And again, in most truck toppers, you kind of have to scrouch down. Now they do make the higher top ones, but still, you know, some of those are, you know, four feet maybe. Um, so you're always gonna kind of have to scrouch down if you want to get the gear in there. So. Um, again, gear accessibility is definitely a con of owning a truck topper. So the third con of owning a truck topper is the cost. Now, obviously I know you can get used toppers on Craigslist for a couple hundred bucks, stuff like that. I'm not referring to those. I'm referring to the new ones because most new truck toppers are meant to spiff, spit, uh, fit specific trucks and that's it. So a topper that would fit on a Dodge is probably not going to fit on a Chevy or a Ford. Um, in some instances they do, but uh, in most cases they don't. So if you end up buying a new topper, our new topper, which is pretty basic, it was $1,800 when we bought a brand new. And again, we bought basically the base model that ARE had. We just got tinted windows and an added upgrade, and then we got a Yakima rack for up top, and it was 1800 bucks. I mean, you can spend a lot of money on these, especially if you wanna get interior LED lights, you wanna get carpeting on the inside, you wanna get a little 12 volt plug, you wanna get windows on the side that pop up. All these little add-ons really add up to where you're looking now three, 4,000 bucks uh, pretty darn quick for sure. So um, that's definitely one one con of truck toppers is just the, the cost of them. So the fourth con of owning a truck topper is the resale value of it uh, or the lack thereof really. Um, I've seen guys uh, with free signs on their toppers trying to give them away 
because unless you have the very specific truck that will fit that topper, in most instances, again, especially with the newer toppers, um, they're not gonna fit every truck. So like for our truck, we're getting ready to get rid of our truck here, hopefully soon. That's a whole nother story. But um, we've been trying to sell our truck topper and have had no luck. And it's just because it only fits 2004 to 2007.5 long bed Dodge Rams. And that's, that's all that it fits. Um, so it, uh, unless there's somebody that fits that criteria, um, you know, you're going to have a really hard time trying to sell the truck, uh, truck topper if you ever to decide to get rid of it. So that is the four, I guess, plus one. Uh, so really kind of five cons of owning a truck topper because that first one I kind of said two. But anyways, um, those are the cons that I could think of of owning a truck topper. So uh, what's your guys' experience with toppers? Uh, do you guys have any more cons that you can think of uh, or pros? Again, I did do a video on that, so feel free to check that out. Um, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, throw a like, subscribe, and check out some of my other videos if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.